This time on Turbo Build, we're going to be building this rather shiny looking heat shield. G'day folks, my name is Brendan and welcome again to the Turbo Build. Now I got myself some of this perforated multi-layered aluminium heat shield product. Uh, really cool stuff, it's quite lightweight, really thin, but it does an excellent job of heat retainment, keeping the heat in the manifold and keeping the heat out of everywhere else in the engine bay I guess. So I'm going to be making a heat shield for the turbo manifold. And of course, the first thing I need to do is a CAD model. And I think you can see roughly what I've got in mind here. So let's transfer this template over to the actual perforated sheet. Now, it is actually kind of hard to mark this stuff because it's so dimpled. Uh, but using this big, thick Sharpie, I get a clear enough result that I'm able to at least cut it out with the tin snips. I don't remember exactly how much this sheet cost. I think it was about 50 bucks. Um, and that was roughly enough to do two heat shields. Um, so $25 for a heat shield. Yeah, I, fair, I guess that's a fair price for a custom job for a custom turbo manifold. Uh, so in marking out these the lines, I ended up adding a bit of a buffer. This allowed me to do uh, some folds around all the ex external edges to prevent any sort of sharp edges uh, being exposed. So that way, all the edges were nice rounded over folds. So once I've folded sort of the three main folds um, and then sort of bent the, the few corners together, uh, we get a pretty nice, fairly sturdy shape. And it seems to fit over the manifold and around the turbo just nicely. However, of course, I can't just leave it sitting here. It needs to be properly affixed. And I've got an idea for that. But it does mean I need to pull the turbo and the manifold off the car. Thankfully this turbo setup is pretty trick and it can all be removed in one piece. So the plan is to weld on three M6 studs uh, on the top of the manifold to act as sort of post that we can then bolt the heat shield down onto. Now I'll give these welds a quick clean with the wire brush to get rid of all the gank. Uh, and then of course they are too long. Um, and that was 
Well, just because I just cut the studs however long I need to cut them to weld them on. But, very easy, we'll just cut them down with the grinder to an even level, and then it'll be happy days. Now, obviously, I need to put some holes in this heat shield for the studs to poke through. Uh, the cool thing with that is, of course, given that it's so such a soft material, we just lay the heat shield over the studs, give them a tap with a hammer, the holes are marked. some cleaned up holes and some nuts. The heat shield is bolted on and it's really nice and solid. It's got a nice twang to it. And a quick hit with some high temp black paint. I don't know if this paint will actually last the temperatures that this manifold will go through, but I'm going to do it anyway. With the manifold back on the car, it's time to install this heat shield for a final time. However, I made one slight modification. I added these little posts and some big fat washers as a kind of spacer to prevent the heat shield from really deforming down into the manifold and to keep that space between the manifold and the heat shield, which allows for the air layer, which of course prevents the heat from getting through to the other side of the heat shield. And with that final nut in place, job done. I have to say, I think it looks pretty awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. That's it for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.